Hello everybody! Happy Friday! It's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys had a good week. It has been a very, very busy week here. You can probably see over my shoulder I've been working on Club Create and new Color Club kits this week. And funny enough, they're all ready early, but my envelopes that I mail them in are not here. They usually are here super fast and they are stuck in California somewhere. So I can't even put anything in the mail yet. I was really trying to get ahead and that goes to show me, don't work ahead. Anyhow, I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, warmest Hearts is what we're doing this week. I have joked about this stamp set. Um, it is a thermos slash water bottle. And when I say water bottle, I mean these, you know, giant things that people are carrying around. My kids have hydro flasks and they're metal and huge and we make fun of them because they can't go anywhere without them. Um, so of course that's what I thought of as soon as I saw specifically that die right there. That's exactly what they look like. So I couldn't wait to play with it. The first card that we're going to make today is a birthday card that they will probably like to give to their friends because they're all about their hydro flasks and the colors and the stickers and all that. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, let's see, before we get started, where do I want to start? I don't know. We'll just, we'll just start. And my iPad turned off. Hold on. Let me make sure I find you guys. Um, it's good to see you guys. I'm in the right spot. Okay. All right. I'm going to flip you guys around, um, and just go run through some things really, really quickly. Hopefully my phone is popping off. It's barely on there. And of course the neighbors right on the other side of the window, their yard people are here again. They're here like every day and they are over there with a, what sounds like a weed eater or something. So hopefully it doesn't last long and hopefully you guys can't hear it. Um, the all-star tutorial bundle for what month are we in? September. Can you guys believe we're already halfway through September? Um, this is what I uh, send out um, to everyone who shops with me. You earn it for free. Um, if you spend over $50 with me at stampinup.com. Um, it has 12 tutorials. They're all video tutorials and they're each designed by a different demonstrator. Here's mine for this month. This month's all feature the Zoo Crew Suite. Um, so you get this if you spend $50 with me. Um, I send them out about every other week. I go through and grab all the emails of everybody who's ordered from me and send them out. Um, if you order during the BOGO sale, you should have gotten this if you spent over $50. Um, it's also available in my PDF store if you're interested in that. Um, what else should I show you? Oh, let's talk about the Halloween class. <laughs> so the Halloween class, I'm gonna start working on this on Monday, I think, getting it ready. The deadline is the 22nd. Um, the, both the glow-in-the-dark paper and the glow-in-the-dark little bats or whatever ghosts and bats are on unorderable until let's see I think the embellishments come back the 25th um so everybody who's ordered right now I've ordered everything for you we are good um but anybody who orders after today your kit may be delayed a few days um as I wait for things to come back in stock but it has six treat um projects in it it has it does not have a video but it does have a pdf and they're all treat holders except for one card uh, you get a quarter pack of the paper you get a bolt of ribbon you get a pack of the embellishments and um, you can get it with the bundle and without or without the bundle and by the way this has been out of stock for weeks it is now back in stock so if you've been waiting for this it returned to the store late yesterday um, which was actually earlier than what our inventory report said. It said next week. So um, if you've already ordered the class to go from me, including the bundle, I already ordered yours, so we are good. Um, but if you're not ordering the class and you are wanting to get this bundle, hop on right now and go order it before it sells out again. All right, so that is that. The deadline for this is the 22nd, so that's next Saturday. And I will ho hopefully have them in the mail that following week. Um, hopefully I can get them all prepped and ready to go next week and get them out a little bit earlier than the end of the month, okay? So that is for all of my Halloween friends. I know a lot of you love Halloween like I do. I 
Bought pumpkins last weekend. We'll see how they fare out in this Texas heat. <laughs> it's been very hot, but they still look cute. Um, my new porch has a bunch of stairs up going up to the door and I could not wait to put pumpkins on those stairs. So there was my mom and I last Saturday digging through the, the pumpkin bin at Walmart, finding the best ones. Okay, let's talk about Club Create for October. Um, this, interestingly enough, the fall products have just had a hard time staying in stock. Uh, you know, usually I find that the fall stuff isn't quite as popular as say the Christmas stuff or even the Halloween stuff, but this stuff, boy, has been so popular. The paper came back in stock and then immediately went out of stock again because everybody, you know, frantically ordered their paper. So it is um, scheduled to come back the week of October 23rd, as is the ribbon. So my Club Create for October features both the paper and the ribbon. So what I think is going to happen, my kits usually ship on the 21st. So if you're a Club Create member, listen up. My kits ship on the 21st. Typically, I get them out earlier than that. I try to get them out before the 21st. Like right now, this month's club kits are ready to go. If I had had my envelopes, they would have gone out today. But next month, they're going to go probably a week late just because that paper and the ribbon, unless they come back in stock early. So if you subscribe to Club Create in October, just know I'm doing the best that I can and I will have them packed and ready to go and just stick your paper and your ribbon in as soon as I get it. And it'll be in, it'll arrive to you in time to make these sweet little um, mini albums for your Thanksgiving table and to send out your Thanksgiving cards. Okay, so just know that that's what's going on with Club Create. Um, I always put a little asterisk on my classes that says, um, if for some reason something goes unorderable or sells out, a product could possibly be substituted. I don't think I've ever had to do that, maybe once, but it seems like maybe it's gonna become more common just the way Stampin' Up! is um, trying to be more responsible with their inventory and not um, ending a catalog with excess inventory. So um, just know that we're doing the best we can. And um, anyway, that's Club Create. So it is still a gorgeous class. It'll still go out in October, just maybe a few days late. Um, let's see, the other thing I was going to tell you. Oh, okay, so if you are not a subscriber for October's Club Create, it is $45 a month. Um, it is a club, um, so it's an automatic subscription that if you signed up, let's say, what's today, the 15th. If you signed up on the 15th, um, it would charge you every month on the 15th until you canceled and you can cancel anytime. So if you just wanted to sign up for one month, you could. If you wanted to sign up indefinitely, you could, um, but you can always cancel anytime. The kit includes around $20 of product. Some months it'll have more, some months it'll have a little bit less, but usually right around $20. Five projects, a video, a PDF, and that includes your shipping. And on the sixth month, you get a $25 product credit where you get to order um, something of your choice to go along inside your kit. Okay, so at the top of my blog, uh, pinkbuckaroo.com, I'm gonna pull that up right now, make sure everything is up. Um, there is a tab at the top that says Club Create, and you can click on that and the subscription is there. Yes, everything is up, okay? And that will give you inf uh, information and the link to subscribe. If you just want the PDF, that is always an option as well. Um, what are the CD classes for the rest of the year, Karen? You mean Club Create? Is that what you're asking about? CD Club Create? I, I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't know. It just depends on what's in stock. I will let you guys know as soon as I know. Um, okay, so I told you that, I told you that. A uh, paper pumpkin from this month, I have a few extras if you need one. I have them, they are gorgeous. There's two stamp sets in there this month and a pretty peacock uh, stamp and spot. So let me know if you need one. Okay, I think that's it for now. Let me move all this out and I will show you who is our prize winner. 
Um, I give away a prize every week to somebody who has shared the video either on Facebook or YouTube. And this week's winner is Cindy Howard. She has won the Timeless Charm Bundle. So Cindy, I, I might have your mailing address, but I don't know. So please message me or email me and let me know so I can send you this as a thank you. I do appreciate you sharing my video. Um, this week I'm giving away the Reach for the Stars Bundle. Anybody who shares either on Facebook or YouTube is eligible to win, and I'll pick somebody at random next week. Next week's Facebook Friday will be the Rustic Crate Bundle. All right, I have two of the three projects planned, and I think they're gonna be really good. I'm using colors, fall colors that I have never used before, and it'll be very interesting. So hopefully you guys will join me next week. Okay, so that is prize for next week. This week, pinkbuggeroo.com, here is the PDF. Um, we're making three projects with the warmest heart bundle. Looks like this, if I can get it picked up. It is towards the back of our holiday catalog. No, it's not called the holiday catalog, but that's what I call it. It's called the September to December 2023 mini catalog. Um, and as you can see, it's not all holiday things. It's things like this cutie that could be used all year. But if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, this is there for you. It's free. It'll have all three projects that we do today, measurements and supply list. And then it has the links to the things that I just talked about. If you like today's projects and you'd like for me to send them to you as a free kit, um, I send them to anybody who puts in an order between now and Monday at midnight. And it looks like this. Um, your order has to be minimum $35 order minimum $35 order before shipping and tax and uses this week's host code. Is that the same host code? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Make sure I had the right one. Um, but they look like this. You'll obviously need the warmest heart stamps and dies, um, but everything else I'll do for you. There's a lot of die cuts in these projects. As I was prepping them yesterday, I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to be doing a lot of die cutting next week. Um, but I send you, um, ribbon or twine the die cuts you will need the stamps and the ink i don't send any pre-stamped images but i will make you a cute little thank you tag all right so the deadline for that is monday at midnight okay i think we're ready let me um i've got a little cart down here and it's not pushing in there we go okay all right let me grab my first tray this first project is very bright and fun and i told you guys this stamp set, I should have brought my daughter's Hydro Flask so you could see it. If you don't know what a Hydro Flask is, look it up. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, they are these giant metal water canteens, basically, that all the teenagers, and not just teenagers, a lot of people carry them around. And I, I told you last week, we joked with my girls and said, tell them that they're their emotional uh, support water bottles because they literally can't go anywhere without them. Um, and they're cute and all their friends have them. They come in all these colors and sizes and they have these different little flip tops. And so I wanted to come up with a birthday card that they could give their friends that would be fun and have a little, little water bottle. When I say water bottle, that's not the right word because it's not, I mean, I guess it's a water bottle. I don't know, but it's more like a, like a thermos, what we would call a thermos. But anyways, we're going to make this one. It's, um, melon mambo and we've got uh, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Lemon Lime Twist, and Azure Afternoon, all right? <laughs> it's very bright and beautiful. Um, the sentiment, happiest of birthdays, comes from this one, and it's called Throughout the Year. All righty, so let's do our stamping first. Look at my color palette, it's so beautiful. Um, we've got Melon Mambo, Azure Afternoon, um, Daft of Light, Granny Apple Green, and we're going to use Smoky Slate for the top. All right, so let me grab my paper, and I've actually done this ahead of time because it coloring and cutting out two of these actually takes quite a bit of time. So I'm just going to do one and show you how I did it, okay? So we're going to stamp this guy in Memento Black on Basic White. And then I'm going to take some post-it tape and I'm gonna mask it off. We wanna make it have that flower pattern, but if we stamp it, you know, all over, then when it when you cut it out, 
Can you guys see right here how there's a white border on there? When you cut it out, you'll still be able to see the flowers on the outside of that border. So then it will look weird. So masking off these parts will prevent us from getting it outside of that black line. All right, so just use your post-it tape or a post-it note and get your little flowers and I was able to fit them, about two of them, turning them so that they're different angles, like that. And then I'm gonna stamp one just kind of over here in the corner, and one over here, like that. Okay, so now be really careful because it's not drying on, on your tape or your post-it notes. You're gonna get that ink on your fingers. So you're gonna do this twice, because you need two of them. All right, see how that masking, now it makes it look like the pattern was there on the water bottle. All right, let's start by coloring our flowers. I'm gonna do most of them Melon Mambo light, and then I'm gonna just do two of them Daffodil Delight. And then on the second water bottle, which I'm not doing because I've already done ahead of time, I would do it the opposite way, where I would color most of the flowers Daffodil Delight, and then just a couple of them would be melon mambo they're they're the same but they're different if that makes sense okay so melon mambo all the way around and i'm going to color the centers of those other two melon mambo now i know that my camera's far away and you can't see very well i have individual recordings of all three of today's projects over on youtube it's my little rehearsal, dress rehearsal for every Facebook Friday. And um, on those, you can see, I zoom in so you can see how I color uh, much better than on here. Um, that's also a place where you can go back and reference today's projects in a non-Facebook Live chatty environment, <laughs> if that's what you like. All right, now I'm gonna take light Azure afternoon, and I'm gonna go around each of my little flowers and leaves. And it's really not that hard to do, just be careful really around the Daffodil Delight flowers, because that's really the only place where the blue would be darker and might, if you accidentally go over it, you might be able to see it. All right, so go all the way around. And I'm using the bullet tip end of my marker because that's the end I like to use. Do, 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 all the way around. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? Bright and beautiful. Thanks, Melody. Melanie, I think I said Melody, but Melanie, thank you for the share, I appreciate it. Um, Stanley tumbl Tumblers, yes, Heather, I think that may be where we are, we are going now with the Stanleys. I don't understand, I guess, you know what, my daughter did say, the Stanleys are narrow on the bottom so they fit in your cup holder better. So, I don't know, they're like $50 each, which is insane. All right, uh, light smoky slate. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of, of dark kind of around the edges like that. Stampin' Up! actually sent us a Hydro Flask for something. I can't remember what it was for, some kind of reward. And I couldn't wait to show my girls. Look what I got. That was cool for about two minutes. All right, so there you go. Now you're gonna take, you're gonna do that twice. And you're gonna take this die right here and you are gonna cut them out, and they are gonna look like this. So see how this one has more of the yellow flowers and this one has more of the pink flowers, but basically they're the same. Now let me show you this card. I saw a card like this on um, somewhere, Instagram, and she created this window here with a square die. And then she attached her circle there within the, the window. So, it, oops, sorry, I'm out of the frame. So that um, it's kind of like a window 
right? Like a bridge across the window. So that is what we are going to do, okay? So let's get our Melon Mambo. Ooh, there's all my pieces. I've already cut out all the other pieces. Um, let's get our Melon Mambo card base and bring over, you know, why do I only have one clear plate? Hmm, let me see. Oh, it's right here. It's on the table. All right, and I'm going to use a square, a stylish shape square die. My twine is all tangled in it. And we want it to cut out like right about here. You want to leave enough room up here to attach the top part of your um, water bottles. Um, and you want it to be even over here. So get some of your post-it tape and tape it on like that. And you can see how it's off the edge. All right, so we're gonna cut off the, the edge. All right, so then, and you can really do this with any shape, circle, oval, you know, whatever. It doesn't have to necessarily be a square. And then when you take this off very carefully, it looks very weird at first, but it's gonna make sense. Let's get grid paper and we're gonna stamp those same flowers that we just used all over the front, but this time in Melon Mambo. All right. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna turn the flowers each time I do it so that they look a little bit different. Just adding a little bit more interest to our card. Oh, I didn't do that one very good. Let's see if I can. I always try to do this too fast and then, and then I make a mistake. You wanna cover your workspace because you'll stamp on your desk. All right, so now we're gonna take a stylish shape circle and we're gonna attach our two canteen slash water bottle slash thermos thing. <laughs> we're gonna attach them like kind of like angled and overlapping like that, okay? Then I have cut out, these are from the paper florist dies. I've got lemon lime twist, granny apple green, and two daffodil delight flowers. And I'm just gonna use my glue dots. And we're gonna put this on here with a dimensional. Okay, like that. And then we'll, we'll uh, layer these behind. I'm gonna use glue dot as well back here. We'll put this one, whoa, like that. And this one like that. And then we'll do these, if I can pick them up. You know, I was looking at these leaves these are from the paper florist dies, and I was thinking, you know, these would make great little fall leaves too. So don't forget to look at your other dies for seasonal things that, you know, could be used as seasonal. All right, so there we've got that, and now we'll add a basic white twine bow, not too big. Come on, there we go. And snip. This twine's all, all twisted up. There we go. And we're gonna put that right in the middle of our flower. So now it's gonna go right there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here, and a little bit of glue here. You know what, I think I'm just gonna stick with glue dots because they're less messy. So one there, one there, one there, and 
We'll get that. You gotta make sure your circle is right here on the edge so that it still fits in your envelope. And there you go. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's stamp our sentiment in Melon Mambo as well. This is a stylus shape banner. Melon Mambo sentiment. And we will flip that baby over and put it on with some dimensionals. My little dimensional trash bin here. And there we go. All right, now for the inside, I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. And I wanted something kind of special to peek out through that window. So I cut a piece of our um, bold and bright. No, let me look. I had to look it up last night. I can't remember. Bright and beautiful designer series paper. A two, I don't think I put that on the measurements. Just a two inch by five and a fourth inch sliver. And then I'll put that right there. And then we'll take that flower again and we could just stamp that flower like that, carry over that design. And then you can see, see how it kind of peeks through there on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. That way, you know, a little something special through there. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add a, a few pearls. And these are actually not Melon Mambo, they are Sweet Sorvet but they go just fine. They're like a metallic. I have no putty left on the end of my take your pick tool. There's literally nothing in there. I need to refill. All right, and there you have it. A bright and flowery birthday card. I think that the teenagers might approve of. My youngest, man, she gets invited to a lot of birthdays. I feel like we are going to birthday or taking her to birthdays a lot. And she's always needing a card. So there you go. And if you want to change the colors, change the colors. Um, like a purple color scheme would be pretty with this too. I was thinking, you know, um, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape. I don't know. Okay. There we go, card number one is done. Let me move all of this. And the next one I'm, the next one is my favorite because it's a 3D and because it has a pumpkin. You guys know I love my pumpkins. All right. So my idea for this project was to get a, Starbucks latte, they're called Via Latte, and they're like these long and skinny packets. And the one that I have is old. It's in my like stash of candy and stuff. And let me show you what it looks like. You'll recognize it, Via Instant, and it, but it's peppermint mocha, and that doesn't go with what we're doing. So I was like, okay, I'll design this box, and then I'll go and get either just regular coffee via or pumpkin spice via, and I could not find them anywhere. And they are not online. And so I had to pick something else. And so I found these that I've never seen before. IHOP, who knew? IHOP cold foam ice latte pumpkin spice. So that's what goes in here. I linked these. They are not on Amazon. They are at Walmart. I actually got on my, my local Walmart and found them. So um, I linked them on Walmart. This box has to be just a half inch. I can't get a stupid bow back on here. This, um, the one for the IHOP ones has to be just a half inch shorter. Okay, so my original one was a little bit too long. Um, so the measurements are for this. If I'll show you when we score. If you happen to find the Starbucks, Ones, I'll show you how you can just make it a little bit longer, okay? And we're gonna add a little pumpkin to it. All right, let's make our box first. Here are all my pieces. And we are gonna need our Simply Scored. So the short side is gonna be the side that is the length, 
right? Well, we're scoring the short side for these sides. So if you want this, it is actually the long side that you need to increase your measurement. If you need to increase your measurements for the VS, the uh, Starbucks, this piece that we're using is seven and a fourth. Just increase it to seven and three fourths, and then that's all you have to do. And we're gonna score it on the, lo on the long side at half an inch from each end. Okay, so for this one, it's half an inch and six and three fourths. So if you made it bigger, you would just score it half an inch in from the end. Um, these measurements would stay the same, half, two and a half, three and five. All right, so those are the measurements and those are on the PDF if you need them. I know I said them pretty quickly. So burnish your lines, use your bone folder. Hopefully you guys have had some fallish weather this week. Um, we would say that we've been highs of 95 and we're all like, oh my gosh, it feels so good. So yes, it's been nice. Might, fingers crossed, have some rain this evening. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> um, okay, on the ends, you're going to snip all those score lines. And this piece is the same no matter which way you turn. It's the same on both long ends, the same on both short ends. So on one of these sides, you're gonna cut off that corner square. And when I did it, I cut it at an angle right there. And then you're gonna do the same thing with this one. And then just cut off that corner. All right, and that's all you have to do. That's what it looks like. And we're gonna use tear and tape. Tear and tape's perfect for this. So just take your tear and tape, get it right there. Rainy in the 70s in Albuquerque. Ruth, is that normal for you guys? It doesn't sound like that would be normal for you guys. It sounds like heaven. Rain. I forgot what rain is like. All right, so fold it over to itself and adhere that side to the other side. And then where this seam is, that's gonna be your back side. So fold in, this is the bottom now, fold in the sides and then the back, and then you're gonna do the front flap. That way all those edges will be on the same side. Okay, close it up. And now we'll put our cold foam latte blah, 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 whatever it's called, inside, fold, fold, and fold. I'm not going to adhere it closed. We're just gonna tie it up at the top. Um, 85 today in Western Washington, Nicole, that sounds warm for you guys, is that warm? Kathy says 82 today with hardly any humidity. Okay, Kathy, that is perfect weather. That is perfect. Ruth's not too normal, but it was high in the 90s last week. Yeah, yeah, I cannot wait for that first breath of non 90s oh, can't wait all right a little piece of um our them bones designer series paper that's the halloween paper but here we're just using the plaid so it's not halloween um i told you guys last week my husband and my brother went to colorado for their i guess what's become an annual elk hunting trip they literally saw nothing um <laughs> no elk they saw some mule deer um didn't have mule deer tag only elk they slept on the ground for a week i don't understand it why you'd want to continue to do that but apparently it was fun <laughs> he said the weather was beautiful it did rain and they had to leave a day early because they were a little bit worried about getting off the mountain in the rain but he did not bring that weather with him. I asked him to and he did not. Okay, this is really a great substitute ribbon. Um, if you're wanting that copper and natural ribbon that's unorderable right now, this is a great fall ribbon. Um, copper clay textured ribbon. It is, I think, three eighths of an inch. What does it say? Three eighths of an inch. And it's really a good like fall color. So I tied the top closed like that. That's how we're gonna keep it closed. 
Okay. Now we are gonna stamp our little guy, our thermos slash hydro flask slash whatever. We're gonna stamp it in pecan pie. We're gonna do it twice. We're gonna stamp it once on our pecan pie glorious gingham designer series paper. And again on a piece of pecan pie. Um, because we want the lid to be solid. So we'll cut the lid off and put it on there. The other thing that we're gonna stamp is this little sunset. Now, if you've looked at this stamp set and said, uh, where is it? What are, what are all these little things about? Well, the kids <laughs> or everybody um, likes to, they like to put stickers all over their water bottles. So these are the kind of stickers, really, I think my daughter probably has all three stickers look very similar to this. So that's what those are intended to be. We're gonna color our little sunset, trying to keep in the scheme of the colors here. I'm gonna color the bottom layer in light Cajun craze. And then the layer above that is gonna be pumpkin pie. And the layer above that, that was pumpkin pie dark. Now we're gonna do pumpkin pie light. Okay, and then the last layer is daffodil delight. I think I'm gonna do light daffodil delight. And I stamped it in pecan pie instead of memento black. I felt like that kind of gave it a nice Kind of, I don't know, I liked the way it looked in pecan pie with those colors. Okay, so we've got those three things. Let's bring our cut and emboss machine over here. And we'll cut these out. We're going to use this die this time. This is the same one we used on the last project. You know, I think I am gonna just use some post-it tape. And we're gonna take the little sunset sticker. And uh, cut that out. All right, so there's that one. And we're gonna just cut the lid off of this one. And our little sunset. And then one more time with our pecan pie gingham. The uh, leaf blower's still going strong next door. How long, what time is that? Yeah, still been going on for about 40 minutes. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, why do they time these things when I have my Facebook Live? I really should put up a sign that says, no yard work between the hours of 2 and 3.15 p.m. on Fridays. Thank you very much. I don't know. I don't think they'd probably care, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to cut off the lid right here like that. And then just to make it easier to match, I'm just gonna kind of cut off some of this like that so I don't have to worry about it sticking out at all. Just trimming off the corners a little bit and we'll put that right there like that. And we'll put the sticker on there like that. Okay, let's make our pumpkin. Um, the pumpkin, Pick a patch, no, is that pick of the patch, pumpkin builder punch. <laughs> Say that real fast three times. We're gonna punch out that large pumpkin. We're gonna punch out an old olive leaf. Uh-oh, I feel like I'm getting the hiccups. That'll be interesting. I don't think I've ever had hiccups during a Facebook Live. Hopefully I'm not. That would be kind of awkward. All right, take your little stem. My middle daughter is home today. 
with the yuckies. She's not feeling well. She came home sick earlier yesterday from school. Um, we're not sure, you know, body aches, sore throat, you know, all that fun stuff. But then this morning she got up and said she wasn't feel, still wasn't feeling well, but could she please go to Starbucks? <laughs> um, no, that would be a no. If you can't go to school, you cannot go to Starbucks. These children, these children, I tell you, they are funny. They're very funny. Okay, we also have a, um, this is our nested shape dies, second largest crumb cake. This is from our autumn leaves dies, Cajun craze. And we're just going to layer all of this on here with dimensionals. Yeah, I tell you, Tony, teens of today, they, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess every generation says, well, when I was a kid, rah, 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 you know, and I, I feel like I say that all the time. Um, I can't even imagine. I mean, there was no such thing as Starbucks that we would drive to on the way to school. I mean, we might go to the gas station and get like a 79 cent big gulp or something, but I, mean, I guess maybe that's the same thing. I don't know. It feels different. <laughs> it feels different. All right, I have a little tiny banner here. This is um, this is from the stylist, Shape Dies, of course. And we're going to take the little thanks in pumpkin pie and stamp that. And then, you know, we have, of course, we have a coffee machine with all the flavors of K-Cups you could want. And there's nothing in there that she likes. And it's drama and... I'm sick, can you make me soup? You know, I'm like, okay, okay. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Dimensionals on either edge, left and right. That way you can sandwich your ribbon like that. And there you go. A fun little fall treat. Um, now, I found something at our grocery store called um well i don't know if i want to show you because i think i'm gonna use it with our pick a patch pick pick of the patch pumpkin they're pumpkin flavored biscottis so those might go well with this i don't know that's cold brew though right i don't drink coffee so i don't know how these things go but they sound like they would go together i guess a biscotti would probably go with a hot coffee right and maybe two pumpkin spice things would be too much together Unless you really like it. I don't know. Anyways, there you go. Where's my other one? There you go. A cute little fall treat. Teacher gift. Coworker gift. Um, who else? Your neighbor. You know, I think those would be fun. Don't you guys? Um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can't relate. Mom. Yeah, she actually was being so mean. <laughs> Why can't I go? Um, because you're sick. But I'll, I'll just, no. The answer is no. The answer is a hard no. Okay, one more thing. One more. This time we're going Christmas. We're going to make a Christmas card with these guys. And I am using some new paper. Have you guys taken a look at this online exclusive designer series paper? Here's what we're making. I wanted to use these new papers. This is also new. This is um, gold and silver glimmer paper that has an adhesive backing, which is really nice. Okay, let me show you this paper. So this is called the Shining Brightly Designer Specialty Paper because you, as you can see, it's shimmery. Jessica, I'm not ready for Christmas either. Believe me, I'm never ready for Christmas. I want it to be pumpkin season forever. However, some of us are. And with the way that things are selling out, going out of stock, I feel like I need to sneak in these Christmas things early. You guys, really, I said this on my blog yesterday. You need to prioritize your wish list. What, do you, what are you using for your Christmas cards? Go ahead and order that now. I know you're not in the mood for that, but if you wait, some of this could be sold out. That's just the way of the world. 
The thing, and this is not the Stampin' Up! exclusive problem. The thing I want for my birthday is out of stock. With no, like, like, no apology, no like, oh, it'll be back soon. Just out of stock. So, you know, if you want it, you get it. Get it quick. All right, so let's make our little Christmas water bottles. Now, these have the little handles on them. They're so cute. Um, we're going to use the dies mostly here. The only stamping we're going to do is the sentiment. So we're going to use this one right here. And then this is like the lid, I guess, that would go on it. This is a little grid pattern and the diamond pattern. And then the little, the I guess you would call that the lid. I don't know, whatever that part is right there. We're going to use that. And of course, the handle. Now, these pieces are small, you guys. So you're going to want to use adhesive sheets on the back of your paper, okay? So put your adhesive sheet on the back of your cherry cobbler. Now the silver paper already has adhesive on the back, so we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna need it on the back of this, the um, cherry cobbler for the grid, paper, the grid pattern. And then we're gonna cut that out from that. And then also for the little diamond pattern, that needs to go on the back of our white cardstock, okay? And I cut my adhesive sheets down. They come 12 by six. So then that will go on that. We're gonna cut out one of these from here. Um, we also need our silver, which we're gonna cut all of these things out of. Okay, so we got a lot of cutting to do. Let me move everything over and bring back this guy. It sounds like the uh, lawn people are done next door. Very quiet. All right, we'll do our white. And then we're gonna need to do these twice. This glimmer paper um, is awesome. Like I said, it has, um, you know, did I put that on the supply list suddenly? I'm thinking I didn't. Oh no, I did. Okay, it's the, the, this glimmer paper is an online only exclusive. So I have it on the supply list for you. Um, it comes with one sheet of silver, one sheet of gold, 12 by 12. And the, the thing I like about it, well, besides the fact that it has an adhesive backing, it, the glitter doesn't come off on you. You know, like sometimes we, the glitter paper, glimmer paper we used to have was very um, messy. The, the glitter would come off. It does not, that does not happen with this paper. It's very good. All right, so now we'll just do this one. Run this through. Like that, and now we assemble. You're gonna need two white hearts also, of course, from my favorite Give It A Whirl dies. I've already cut those out. And a scalloped rectangle from the Contour Scallop dies. All right, so let's get all of these pieces. We're gonna want our take your pick tool. If they stick in the die, be careful because you might throw these away with scraps of your glimmer paper because they look very similar. I'm missing two dies right now that I think I threw away. I'm very unhappy about that. All right, that adhesive backing came out. And they're large dies too. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but I needed them yesterday and I spent so much time looking for them and I never found them. I've been throwing out my recycling pretty quickly and I was wishing I hadn't done that so that I could dig around in my recycling and hopefully find it, but I didn't. It was not, with well, the last thing I cut with it was not in there. All right, so to easily get your adhesive backing off of your pieces, take your, take your pick tool and just kind of scrape it until it comes loose and then you can peel it. Um, so this is the cherry cobbler. The adhesive, back, the he, adhesive sheets turn your paper into a sticker, which is so nice. All right, adhesive on the glimmer. 
for the top. And then for the handle, I'm gonna take it and do it like this. Like it's going, nope, I need to come down a little bit like that. Okay. And then let's do the white pieces. on our cherry cobbler water bottle. Oops, let's get it centered. And then the lid. And we'll put that right there. And take the backing off of our second little handle. I love the little handle, it's so cute. Put that on there. And now we'll layer these on here with some dimensionals. And I'm going to kind of lean one to the left and lean one to the right, overlapping a bit like that. And then um, for these little, the little lid cups, I'm going to take the backing off. Here are my two stitch tarts. Stick that like that. But then I want a dimensional on the back, so I'm just going to stick that in the middle. And put that there. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Like that because the sentiment says you warm my heart I thought it was pretty you know like pretty certain we should probably add a heart die cut in there somewhere okay so there's all of our die cut work now I'm gonna stamp my sentiment in cherry cobbler just straight across the scrap of a scrap piece of a piece of basic white and then just grab your trimmer and slice it right on off. And snip. And then two more dimensionals. Yes, this card will need a little extra postage, non-machinable. <laughs> it's got a lot of dimension. And we'll stick that right there. Okay, so there's our little star of the show. And now let's use that other gorgeous Christmas paper. Um, I have a Mossy Meadow card base. Um, she couldn't find, oh, I missed some comments, sorry. I would, my comments turn off and then I forget. Um, you found a great online coffee company, Kusa, and they have pumpkin spice coffees like, oh, really? Mary, their instant coffee is much better than Starbucks. Huh, we'll have to look that up. C-U-S-A. Hmm, okay, I will check that out. My kids are obsessed with coffee, so they'll, they'll wanna know that too. Um, <laughs> Jessica, uh, Kimberly said, I always forget to use my sticker sheets, and Jessica says, me too. So usually on my sample, I didn't use a um, adhesive sheet. <laughs> and as I'm gluing things down, I'm thinking, when we make this on Facebook Live, I will use an adhesive sheet. I know, sometimes I think ahead, most of the time I don't. All right, a little piece here, this is a three inch piece. Did I put the measurements of this on here? Why am I not remembering? Yeah, I did. Not remembering anything. Um, this I think is too long. Let's trim this just a little bit. This is a cherry cobbler scalloped border. I sat out on our back porch last night and it was a nice breeze, which around here, that's very unusual. And I sat back there and typed up the instructions and watched the storm pass by behind us. It never, it never rained here, but it was so nice to finally get to enjoy our, our backyard or back porch. All right, little strip there. And then all we're gonna do after that, I don't think that this card, this card has so much going on with the shine and the shimmer that I don't think you need any embellishments. I think that silver glimmer is enough of an, of an embellishment to add anything else. Isn't that cute? Now, if you're not ready for Christmas, 
You don't have to make this a Christmas. I just really wanted to use that new paper and show you guys how beautiful it is. Um, change this to whatever. Use whatever papers you want. Um, you warm my heart could be any time of the year, right? Okay, wow, we got done early today. What happened? I thought these were gonna take a really long time too. Yesterday recording, they felt like they took a long time. Okay, so I have a couple of extra projects for you. I have one um, that I'm gonna have on my blog Monday. I made this for a swap. And of course, the paper is out of stock and the ribbon is out of stock. So yesterday I said, let me remake it with things that are in stock. This is um, the fishing, gone fishing paper. And this paper is in the new catalog, flowers, something for, mm, it's in the holiday catalog. It's six by six, I can't remember. But I'll have all that listed on Monday. I um, mean, those are those le same leaves I used over here. I stuck a few leaves in it. Um, so if you have that paper, you could do it that way. But if you don't, you could do it. Look, look through your paper. I mean, we have a lot of paper that's gone fishing, but it doesn't look like fishing paper. It looks very fallish. All right, so that'll be on my blog on Monday. And then I have a couple of swap cards that I got. Um, and uh, this is Linda. This is that same paper I was just talking about. And I can't remember what the paper is called. Um, but right there, see it? And that's cute how she did the little, the little things too. Yeah, me too, Rhonda. Just gotta make it work. I mean, it is what it is, right? Like I said, the one and only thing I want for my birthday, it's not stamping up. It's something for the house and it's out of stock. So I'm like, okay, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, this is from, oh, Anna from Australia. She made this card. I can tell from, it's a, their cards are different sizes or y'all, if you're somebody from Australia or the UK, their cards are different sizes than ours. But that's cute too, with different colors. She put those little diamonds on there as well. Okay, well, that is it for me today. Remember, if you would like these three projects as a little kit, a little make and take kit, I will send it to you for free with an order of $35 or more by Monday at midnight. And um, make sure to use that host code. Um, and if you do want to put in an order, but you don't have the stamp set, you can always use whatever you have. It doesn't have to be this. You can use the pieces um, and just substitute different stamps. Um, you can order anything you want, guys, as long as it's $35. I don't care what you order. I, I don't even really look to see what you order. Um, but make sure I will look to see if you use the host code, and that's how I decide who to send the projects to, okay? All right, you guys, next week we'll be back with the Rustic Crate. Um, I will see you then. Um, Club Create and New Color Club. Friends, your kits are ready if I could just get the envelopes here. <laughs> so hopefully they will ship early next week. Um, I did email the envelope distributor and they said, they're on their way, be patient. <laughs> I was like, well, I was ordered them a long time ago and they're not here. I'm tired of being patient. The pool guy has told me that too. I'm tired of being patient. <sighs> I'm not good at patient. You guys have a great week. Have a great weekend. Um, and I will see you next Friday. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Bye, everybody.